Since a judge called for a 60-day cooling off period in the BART labor dispute, the trains have been running. But since that August 11th decision, BART management and its two largest unions, ATU and SEIU, have not met once. Management likes to say meeting dates are up to the state mediator. But Cron 4 has obtained documents indicating the union has wanted to meet and BART management has refused. This email dated August 14th from SEIU to the state mediator lists seven dates during the month of August that the BART union is free to negotiate. In response, BART management attorney Thomas Hawk sent SEIU this email two days later stating its last offer was in fact a final offer and that, quote, engaging in ongoing or further discussions would not be fruitful because the final offer was not yet presented to all members of the union. I think they're just stalling. I think they feel that the public is in their side, so they have, they're not in a rush to negotiate. And they just want to put as much pressure at the end to try to get a, uh, a resolution that would not benefit anybody. The union followed up with another email that same day calling the so-called final offer an unfair labor practice and once again asked management to meet. On August 20th, BART management attorney Thomas Hawk once again refused to meet, saying there was nothing in the court's order, quote, that specifies any required meeting schedule. We'll be trying to set up meetings and they refuse to meet. They want to put the blame on the mediators, but the mediators can't set up a meeting unless the district is also willing to meet. The unions finally contacted the attorney general and though they didn't receive a response, management has agreed now to meet on the 12th and 17th of September, less than a month before the cooling off period expires. What does BART management have to say about all this? Well, we contacted them, several hours have passed and they have not returned our calls. In Oakland, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.